<laughs> We're uh, Mike and it. Yeah, that's a bit optimistic. <laughs> Ish. Ish. <laughs> so, a warm welcome for our first time tonight, Stephen Olsen! Yeah, I ain't even done nothing yet, so I hope you feel the same way when I'm done. Um, I do want to dedicate this to my Uncle Bernie. That was my father's brother. He died. Um, he died about a year ago. But the reason I bring it up is I, I got this here guitar in the mail a couple weeks ago. What's surprising is this, this was his prized possession. And I kept wondering how come he sent it to me because even though he ain't never got hitched, he had plenty of kids it could have gone to. <laughs> <laughs> and it made me think about him and, and, and the times that I, we used to visit him. When I was too young to be in school, I'd be home with my mama. And occasionally what she would do is she'd come over to me, she kind of had that little crooked smile that, you know, women have sometimes, and she'd say, I'm getting kind of bored. Why don't we go over and visit your man and Bertie? Now, Mama Bertie, that's my father's mother and Uncle Bernie's mother. And I said, sure, I, I want to get out of the house any time. So we'd go on over to uh, Mama Bertie's. And when we'd get there, Uncle Bernie would come down the stairs and my mom would say, oh, we came to visit Bertie. And he'd say, well, she ain't home. She's at church. I was always kind of curious that every time I we went over there, remember Bertie would be at church. <laughs> and he would say, well, why, why don't you just wait here a spell and she'll be home soon. And my mom would, you know, that little crooked smile again and she would point to my Uncle Bernie and say, you got any more of those cigs? And he'd go, oh, yeah, I got plenty of them up upstairs in my room. Uh, why don't you come on up and uh, I'll share you one. And then my mama, she would look down at me and she'd say, well, why don't you just stay down here and watch some television? Uh, I don't want you up there with all that smoke. And I, me, you know, they had color television. I could watch Batman in full color. Yeah, I'll be down here. You go up and smoke a cigarette. So I'd be watching my television, and uh, eventually Mama would come down. Bernie never did. He seemed to stay up there. I always thought that was kind of strange, going to sleep when you got company over. But, you know, I didn't care. I saw Batman, so I was fine. But my Mama would look at me before we left, and she would say, now, you know, I don't want you to tell your daddy that I was over here smoking because he don't want me to smoke, which is kind of strange because my father smoked all the time, so what would he care? But no, he, she said, no, he wouldn't want me to smoke. And I said, well, okay. She says, and tell you what, just so you don't have to lie, we won't even tell him we came over here. And we'll go out and get uh, two scoops of ice cream made my day, you know, Batman, four color, and now two coops of ice cream. I, I, I never told anybody about those times, you know, till now. Um, but I don't see why anybody would mind my mama sharing a cigarette with my Uncle Bernie, so, but I, I never said anything about it. Last time I saw my Uncle Bernie was at my mother's funeral. And he walked over to me and told me how much he appreciated that I came to the funeral. And I said, well, sure, it's my mom. <laughs> and he just kind of looked at me and he said, I just hope, I want you to promise that when I go, you'll come. I said, sure, I'm sure there'll be lots of people coming for your funeral. And he goes, well, I, I don't know. He just kind of shook his head and he says, just promise me. And then he walked off. Well, like I said last year, he died. And I promised him, and so I went to his funeral. 
And there were a lot of, a lot of people there. I'm sure he, he would have appreciated all the people that showed up. There was this one woman who came walking over to me with that crooked smile that women have sometimes. And she looks at me and she says, which one of you kids, which one of Bernie's kids is you? And I said, oh no, that's my uncle Bernie. My father, Steve. She takes another look at me and says, I knew Steve. He had those deep, dark brown eyes. But you got those blue eyes like Uncle Bernie. I says, well, I guess it just runs in the family. Because my father was Steve, and this is my Uncle Bernie, and I, I promised I'd be here. She looks at me again, gives me that smile, walks away, turn back one time, shaking her head. Not sure what she was thinking. Just when I get the guitar in the mail, and I know how much it meant to him. And over the years, I had asked him to teach me how to play, but he never seemed to have the time to do that. Now I'm sitting here with that guitar, and the reason why I don't need that mic is because I don't know how to play it. <laughs> but I'm encouraged by everybody who's been performing tonight. <laughs> And I think maybe I should learn how to play <laughs> And I'll come back some other time. And I'll dedicate it to my Uncle Bernie. <laughs>